Well, that was fast. Yet another new version of DJI Fly. Did it fix the bugs? Let's find out. Two days ago, June 27, 2024, DJI released firmware updates for the RC2 controller and the DJI Fly app. The RC2 controller was updated to version 02020100 and DJI Fly was updated to 1.13.8. You can see the video I did about that update right here. But there were bugs. Bad bugs. Loading a newly saved Waypoint mission made the app crash completely. I made a video about this yesterday. It's right there explaining what happens. But in a nutshell, newly created and saved Waypoint missions resulted in DJI Fly crashing immediately when a saved Waypoint mission was loaded. Lots of people were complaining about this in various forums and here on YouTube, including myself. I expected this bug would get fixed quickly, and fortunately it was. So today, June 29th, 2024, DJI released another new update. Firmware version 02.02.0200 for the RC2 controller and DJI Fly 1.13.9. Here's the update notes that showed on the screen for the update prompt. As usual, DJI gave clear, specific, and informative details on exactly what was changed. Anyway, I went ahead and updated it again and did a quick test. The first thing I tried was waypoint missions, obviously. I attempted to load a couple of previously saved waypoint missions. Both ones I created prior to the last update, which worked fine even with 1.13.8, and ones I created subsequent to updating to 1.13.8, which of course were the problematic ones. Now they all loaded just fine. No problems at all, and no crashes. Just to be thorough, I created yet another new waypoint mission, saved it, and then loaded it. Again, no problems at all. Looks like DJI has fixed this issue. I did go ahead and quickly tried a couple of quick shots since I know some folks were having trouble with this, but I hadn't had any issues with this and as expected still didn't upon checking. Please let me know in the comments if you've noticed any differences. Likewise, if any of you that were having issues with hyperlapse are noticing anything fixed. So, a big thanks to DJI for getting this issue fixed so quickly. If you found this helpful, give me a hand by clicking those buttons below. It would really be appreciated. Leave your thoughts, comments, and ideas in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.